Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. <laughs> I got some cyberspace footage leaked early. Do you want to see? You know, Sergio may actually be onto something with their terrible marketing because not a single day goes by that I don't see a random tweet or YouTube video about Sonic Frontiers. These guys are playing 40 chess, my nigga. They have reeled the fattest bait and everyone and their mama has fallen for a hook, line and sinker. And as with Twitter, usually when someone or something gains attention, it's for a negative reason. I mean, come on guys, really, it's, it's Twitter. What were you expecting? Anyways, the main issue with Sonic Frontiers that people are complaining about this this time, and no, it's not the quill cool length, that's for next week. This time, Sonic Toy has been complaining about the general aesthetic of Sonic Frontiers and how it's not Sonic y enough. No, no, it gets even better. There have been attempts to fix this, and it's literally just Green Hill, my nigga. I thought you guys were tired of that. I swear, Sonic fans are never happy. Sonic fans do not know what they want because they'd be asking for shit like this, but when we found out that the cyberspace levels will have the bright and familiar environments that we're used to, everyone was crying about nostalgia pandering and the reuse of assets. Yet, you want the overworld to look like this. More time, this isn't even the first time Sonic has been in a realistic environment. I can name four games off the top of my head right now. No, no, five. We've got Adventure 1 and Adventure 2. Realistic textures. Sonic 06? Realistic world. Everything was realistic, even Eggman himself. Unleashed was more cartoony, but it still had some elements of realism. And don't get me started on the storybook series, bro. Those games had some of the hardest, most raw environments that Sonic has ever ran through, and guess what? They were somewhat realistic too. I mean, when you think about it this way, the games with the more realistic graphics tend to have more fire stories than the goofy ass Saturday morning cartoon games like Sonic Lost World. But yes, yeah, someone will make a bait tweet like this, intentionally taking the piss, and these niggas will still lap that shit up. Bro, I can't even watch this footage for more than five seconds before wanting to puke. How are you people generally wanting this? After an entire decade of cartoon shenanigans, Sonic Team wants to innovate, and you guys want to stop them? In one of the developer interviews, they literally mentioned how it's the norm for platformers to have simple stories and stylized environments, and they want to differentiate Sonic from that. You see, the main problem with Sonic Forces is that they played it too safe. They didn't really do anything outstanding in terms of story or visuals. I mean, the premise of Eggman finally taking over and enslaving everyone is such a raw one, but the way they executed it was so lackluster and ultimately made for a forgettable game. For Frontiers, Sonic Team wants Sonic back in a serious story with realistic environments and you guys want to post that up? The thing about Sonic is that his design works well in almost any setting, realistic or cartoony, providing that you make a few tweaks here and there. There's no defined style for Sonic, we literally have three official Sonics running around at the same time in different forms of media. Live action, anime, cartoon, game, Sonic can do it all and that is part of what's so appealing about his design. Speaking of designs, these are some of the most unique enemy designs we've gotten since the Dark Era aka 06 and Unleashed and honestly it's a step up from those Bruh. simplified roundish enemies that we've been getting that looked like they were drawn by a 10 year old. So far the entire premise of Frontier seemed to be around Sonic exploring a brand new unknown area and from what we've seen ignoring how little they've shown us, they've done a good job designing that. Hell, even the springs and the boosters are this weird shade of pink, which honestly I wasn't expecting. Moreover, we've actually seen a few leaks of the cyberspace levels now. No, not that one, I mean the real leaks. <laughs> Looks like the regular red Sonic objects are making a return in this game. I originally expected the cyberspace levels to function like special stages and look similar to the Clank levels in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, but thankfully I was wrong. Despite what everyone says, I actually prefer that they went this route and I'm looking forward to see how they can carry out this lost memory gimmick with Sonic exploring the new stages. I don't know, maybe we might get some boost stage Emerald Coast or Radical Highway in HD. If they take this further than the usual classic stages, we could visit some fire locations that are familiar to Sonic fans in cyberspace while still exploring the unknown in the wild area. Yeah, I'm calling it the wild area now, Pokemon moment, let's go. As for the music, we've literally only heard one track and it's the same piano theme that they've been spamming in every single clip of official footage. So far it sounds decent, it's your regular run of the mill type open world music, but it's still way too early to jump conclusions on that front, seeing as the only music we've actually heard from the game. Okay, technically we've actually heard two different tracks, but my point still stands. And as for the loops and the hills that everyone wants in this game, it seems to me that you guys just want to play Sonic Utopia. And you know what we do to people who play Sonic Utopia on this channel.
I mean, it's not like I hate the game. In fact, I lost my shit when it was first revealed. But after one or two playthroughs of that game, it gets old really quickly. There's not much to do besides roll around at the speed of sound and clearly Sonic has evolved past that. The game itself has a classic aesthetic and I thought you guys were tired of seeing classic Sonic in modern games. Hmm? We do not need another Sonic Utopia, okay? I'm actually tired of seeing and hearing this shit. Just let modern Sonic thrive, damn it. I'm trying to see Sonic in new and exciting areas and the Star 4 Islands are just might be the way to do it but for now this game looks like it's going to be a different experience from what we've been getting and that's just what the sonic franchise needs right now for the games be it good or bad i guess we'll have to wait and see until then timzy out peace